Dictators have been around for thousands of years. A lot of dictators we know about are shown as monstrous, power-hungry murderers who would do anything to keep the power they've achieved, and rightly so. But what about the funny aspects of dictators? You can't get to be the head of a totalitarian regime without being a little silly, right? Let's take a look at some of the lighter and funnier aspects of genocidal, bloodthirsty, and downright retarded leaders of the unfree world. Mao Zedong became the leader of China in 1949 after a bloody civil war that lasted 22 years. Mao was the chairman of the Chinese Communist Party, and in 1958, he oversaw the start of a program to destroy pest populations across the Chinese continent, called the Four Pests Campaign. It sought to destroy rats, flies, mosquitoes, and sparrows. Rats, flies, and mosquitoes were chosen for eradication because of their propensity for spreading disease. Sparrows were targeted because supposedly they ate rice and other seeds, harming agriculture. But what Mao and all his wisdom didn't anticipate was that when his program led to the deaths of one billion sparrows, it upset the natural ecosystem, letting insects that the sparrows would normally eat and keep at bay thrive and destroy more crops than what would have been destroyed by the sparrows. This led to the Great Chinese Famine from 1959 to 1961 where anywhere from 15 million to 55 million people died. Now, millions of people dying isn't funny, but the fact that some guy basically killed a bunch of his own people because he was a tar it is. Mao died in 1976 from a series of heart attacks. I personally believe that a sparrow burrowed into his heart and stabbed him to death as revenge, and the Chinese government covered it up, but who knows. So I didn't actually look up how to pronounce this name, because I don't know how to pronounce it. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go with it and see what happens. He's also not really a dictator, but I don't know, I wanted to add him because he was funny. Um he's kind of a dictator, a little bit, maybe. Elagabalus <laughs> Elagabalus Elaga Elagabalus became Emperor of Rome in two eighteen AD. After the current Emperor Caracalla was killed while having a piss. I wonder if his dick was still out while he was getting killed. That would suck. Like, how did, how did someone just sneak up behind him while he's peeing and just stab him to death? I don't... I'm pretty aware that I'm peeing out and outside. I don't know. Couldn't have been me. Elagabalus was 14 years old when he ascended to power. And apparently he was wild. He would pick men with the largest cocks for political office. Then he would fuck them. To each their own, I suppose. He also raced a chariot drawn by elephants and destroyed a bunch of tombs. It's pretty rad. He was thought to have been very generous at times, as he would give people random gifts at his banquets. But it sounds kind of like he was just trolling, because in addition to gold, camels, stuff like that, he would also give people lead, lettuce, and even bears. He would give people bears. I don't know if they were alive or dead, but I, don't, I want a bear. I think a bear... I think it'd be a pretty sweet gift. I mean, I train it to suck my dick. Some people think he was transgender and even one of doctors to, and I'm quoting this article, create him a vagina by means of incision. And I don't know if it's just because that, that phrase is kind of vague, but it made me think they just wanted a pussy at like a random place on his body. Like, like what if he got a coochie on his side, like his armpit or something? Come to think of it, that's not a bad idea. If you got like a vagina on your arm, could you... Fuck, could you fuck it? I guess you could. You could fuck your own arm vagina. I want to fuck an arm vagina. It seems like Elagabalus did what most 14 year olds would do after becoming one of, if not the most powerful person at the time. He was just wiling out and I don't think anybody can knock him for that. Unfortunately, going hard as a motherfucker has consequences and he was eventually killed in his toilets in 222 AD by his own soldiers with his body being thrown into the river Tiber and washing up in Rome's sewers. Trump was a dictator of the United States from 2016 to 2020, where he ruled with absolute power. He made life hell for everyone who wasn't a straight white man. Millions were murdered. And historians are comparing Trump to the likes of Adolf Hitler, Mao Zedong, Pol Pot, and Joseph Stalin. Eddie Amandada became dictator of Uganda after a coup in 1971. He kicked out all Asians from the country in 1972 because he said they were milking money from Uganda. 
Asians own 90% of the country's businesses and accounted for 90% of Ugandan tax revenues. It's not confirmed, but this article I read says that he got, he might have got rejected by an Asian girl and that's why he kicked them all out. <laughs> Um, that's way funnier. He insulted the U.S. and Great Britain. I just picture him on the phone with Richard Nixon. Just like, Richard Nixon, you are gay. You are a gay man. He sought to have ate his enemies and even fed some to crocodiles, which is sweet. He also called himself the conqueror of the British Empire and president for life. Not only was he into Asian cuties, he also wanted that British strange because he supposedly would write love letters to Queen Elizabeth. You know, when she was, act that was like when she was actually still hot, not old and fucked up and dead. And he died in 2003 in Saudi Arabia while in exile. Thanks for watching another one of my videos. If you want more slot, please call your mama bitch. Call her bitch, just fucking do it, call her fucking bitch. I'm not making another video until you call your mama bitch. And also like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications as well. As always, I'm, I'm gay. gay.